In this video, I will share a couple of good Super Bowl proposition bets. Every year, sportsbooks offer hundreds of such bets, and I always spend between 50 and 100 hours analyzing them. Usually, I end up finding 30 to 40 solid value wagers. I started sharing those valuable plays with the public five years ago and those five Super Bowls have generated a 92-55-2 record, a 62% success rate, despite taking many underdogs in the process. All of those past plays are available on my site, and I always get several messages of people anxiously waiting for those betting tips every year. I am recording this video Monday morning, and so far I have shared five picks with our members. Let me present two of them in this video. Super Bowl prop bet number one is as follows. Dallas Goddard from the Eagles to rack up over 50 and a half receiving yards. Philadelphia's top tight end has been trending up. Since missing weeks 14 to 17 with a knee injury, he has been posting some superb numbers. Indeed, he has accumulated 55, 47, 56 and 85 receiving yards. That includes a signature play against the Packers where he threw three stiff arms before reaching the end zone for an awesome 24-yard touchdown reception. He is a very reliable target for Philadelphia. My only concern is that he's been nursing an ankle injury. That caused him to miss some practices last week, but I think he'll be fine. Also, it's interesting to note how Kansas City's defense has given up the most receiving yards to opposing tight ends in the entire league this season. With Jalen Hurts not necessarily playing at a high level recently, he will be looking for his security blanket on many occasions during the big game. Super Bowl prop bet number two is the total number of punts to go under six and a half. I shared this play on Friday, January 31st at 1.50 p.m. Eastern Time. And back then, I was able to secure minus 110 odds with many different sports books, or 1.91 in decimal format. Most bookies agree with my pick because the odds have been getting smaller since then. Both head coaches are aggressive play callers, and they are not afraid to go for it on fourth down. The Eagles almost always go for it on 4th and 1. Also, Andy Reid and Nick Sirianni won't start being more conservative because of the magnitude of the game. They will keep pushing it. When these two teams faced each other in the Super Bowl a couple of years ago, a total of 4 punts were made. That's good news for us. Let's take a look at the two Chiefs playoff games this year. In those contests, exactly 4 punts were made in both matches. As far as the Eagles are concerned, a total of 3, 9 and 7 punts were made in their postseason games. This may not be the prop bet that I like the most, but its expected return on investment was still positive, so I took a stab at it. You can see on your screen right now the information that I provided when I posted the pick in question. Would you like to join our exclusive group of savvy sports investors who receive the 30 to 40 Super Bowl prop bets in their mailbox? As I've been repeating over the past 5 years, this is by far my best product each year. The one I have the most confidence in. Our record from prior years speaks for itself and I've been devoting a lot of my time into those Super Bowl prop bets since I started gambling online in 1999. Follow the link below to subscribe for those value wagers. I'm Professor MJ, holder of a PhD in statistics and 15-year university teacher wishing you to crush your bookies during the big game between the Chiefs and the Eagles.